everyone, Eleanor here, back with another Hobby King Weekly Wrap. Since we last saw you, Michael has had a gorgeous baby boy, and I have seen every single bonsai grown in Japan. I was also the only person in the entire ramen restaurant to be given a bib. Obviously, there's something about my face. As you know, in the Weekly Wrap, we will go through the new items, announce the winner of our weekly competition, see what's been happening in the RC community, and occasionally show you sneak peeks of upcoming products. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with new items. As you know, we've been away for quite a while, so we've had many releases. So we'll show you the top items now. We had a 1600mm Fox Wolf FW190, Turnergy Evolution Pro radios in white or black, an orange RX receiver with new encrypted super fast S-Link, a 1200mm Kingcraft Pit Special S2B, a 900mm H-King Camel, an H-King Supercar four-wheel drive electric off-road monster truck. For all you Avios C130 owners out there, we had a six-piece spare wheel set and propeller adapter. New and improved Rhino Lipo Packs. These packs have an excellent discharge rate, low internal resistance, and great cycle performance output. And our major release for this week was the H-King Wago MX2. If you have not seen Michael Wago's video for it, here is some of it now. Uh, this plane has a, a shorter moment. It's very aerobatic. It hovers well, harriers well, and does everything that my other Wago series plane does except this one flies a bit more like a balsa plane. Uh, it's great for straight line flying and things like that. The link for the full video will be in the description below. Weekly competition time. We are currently running Crash Cash, where all you have to do is send us a photo or video of something RC that you have crashed. This week's highlights were... Michael from the Czech Republic, who unintentionally decided to try skiing. Andrew from the US, who after an Easter egg drop, hit a bunch of tall pines. Ouch. Christian from Australia, who says Seagull 1, plane none. And our winner was Tom from the UK, who was left with nothing but pieces. Congratulations, Tom, and $50 in store credit is on its way to you. To enter, show your pictures or video via social with the hashtag CrashCash or enter via the Hobby King website entry page. Links are below. If you don't win but your entry appears in the weekly wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. Okay, community projects. Let's take a trip around the world and see what is happening in the RC community. Anthony from the UK turned his Durafly Slowpoke into a PT-19 lookalike. Love how you added a passenger to the cockpit there. Speaking of paint jobs, Stu from the UK painted his DC-3 to look like Air Force One. Rev XS Customs from Australia is working on a drag bike which consists of custom carbon fibre and 3D printed parts. Dean from the UK had the need for speed with his Durafly EF Extra on 4S. Wow, incredibly fast. Daryl from Australia added an extra wing to his Grand Tundra to create a double on Tundra. <laughs> I see this was flown in PMAC in Sydney, so hoping to see it in action at the H King Live AU event later this month. And the Carl and Jinger family from the US attached giant chalk to an RC car to create some sidewalk art. It's not working exactly as I expected, but I can say that this definitely like is sidewalk chalk art. Great idea, guys, and great to see the whole family getting involved. Oh, look at this, it completely shattered that awesome truck right there. To contribute, visit the Hobby King community page on Facebook or email us at weeklywrap at hobbyking.com or simply tag your recent pictures and or video on social with hashtag HKWeeklyWrap and we'll find it. Remember, if you feature anywhere in the Weekly Wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. So that concludes this weekly wrap. If you're enjoying the show, please give it a like, share with your friends, and comment down below to show your support. Remember, we have two H King Live events coming up, one in Australia later this month on the 25th of May, and the other in the Netherlands from the 26th to the 28th of July. Links are in the description below for more information and to register. See you next week.